One of the most grateful thing after I became a prosthetic urologist is that uh, every time I go there to learn from uh, the prosthetic masters, I'll say, uh, I learn not just surgery and I am learning how to live a life itself. Uh, and one of those masters is uh, Dr. Wang. I was so lucky that I was able to meet him in person. So I went to Houston uh, to MD Anderson Cancer Center to visit his OR and to see how he do the cases and to learn from him. When I went to that uh, surgery that day, I was able to learn a lot about the surgery itself as well. Pain control and uh, how to manage the patient, how to manage the case, all those stuff so I was able to learn. But the most important part is that he was uh, treating patient as a fool. At the same time, he was teaching the residents and all those hectic, you know, busy moments, he was able to deal those things so eloquently at the same time with a dedicated care and dedicated, you know, eagerness to train his own residents. So, uh, one of the many things I think so, I mean, amusing is that uh, those who so-called the masters has uh, wisdom of the life itself as well. So in my eyes so far, you know, as far as I've seen, uh, Dr. Wang, uh, his can be named as uh, many virtues, but uh, his uh, modesty and the fairness and uh, earnestness are the virtues I hope to learn from him. I deeply admire his virtues and uh, hope that he could uh, teach me more <laughs> in the future. You know, the, the society, our society, we call the Sexual Medicine Society of North America. I'm the current president. And the goal of the president is to make sure the society you know, move to the direct, uh, correct direction uh, to accomplish our mission. So the, our mission is to promote the highest standard in sexual medicine. And, uh, and also to promote the uh, exchange of scientific uh, ideas and the latest research. So our society is going to accomplish all those goals through the education and through the scientific ex exchange and uh, provide research grants for the young research and, uh, and uh, young physicians. And for doing that, actually we are building a big family and we establish very close uh, friendship with uh, uh, physicians from North America and fr from the, uh, for the physicians from all over the world. So for example, this meeting in uh, San Antonio, this is our 18th um, uh, full meeting. We have more than seven, 800 people uh, come over from all over the world, including uh, North America, Asia, South America and Europe. You know, I think the uh, prosthetic surgery is really an amazing specialty that can bring the people happiness. And you know that urologists deal with all kinds of problems, oncology, prostate cancer, bladder cancer, kidney stone, and renal failure, all those kind of things. But among all of them, most surgical treatment for those patients is we call it destructive. For example, we remove the prostate, we remove the bladder, and the people end up with uh, sexual dysfunction. They were unable to have, you know, pleasure to enjoy their life. Mm -hmm. And um, when I had my training, when we put a penile implant for the patient, we suddenly see that smile on patient's face. <laughs> Basically, you restored their knife, mm. not just the sexual knife, mm. it restores their really knife. They mm. build up their confidence, mm. they start to enjoy their, their knife again. Mm. So that's the reason I really think the prosthetic surgery is one of the amazing specialty that you can make people happy. No, the, it's very so important in terms of uh, grow the future generation. And uh, especially as the president of the society, your goal was not only promote the society itself, your goal is to grow the future generation 
who will be specialized in sexual medicine, mm -hmm. who will do this type of surgery, like plastic surgery, mm -hmm. uh, like, like the penile implant, like a sphincter, and to restore the patient's function, and uh, who will provide those kind of service. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you see the young people grow, mm -hmm. you really feel you feel to achieve something. Mm -hmm. And if we don't educate the young generation, by the time we retire, nobody's going to provide the service. Then that's going to be that's going to be the problem for us. And also, at the same time, even as the experts in one area, the people can do things a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And for example, what I heard, what I say, your presentation to do the penile implant on the local anesthesia, that is amazing because in the United States, I can tell you probably more than 90. 99% of the procedure are done either in the operating room or in the surgical center. Mm -hmm. So doing the surgery on the local anesthesia is pretty uncommon. So I admire you. You can do that you know, in, in your office. And uh, I think that's really serves the patient from different way, financially and the convenience. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, of course, you do this effectively. I think that's, that's really outstanding. Yeah, I think the number one first important thing is that you need to establish the passion. So how to establish the passion to learn from the masters. So you need to come to our scientific meeting. Also, you need to participate in the so-called master class training program. And for our society, we established the master training program last year. And we also started our international master program in prosthetic surgery this year in our society. So we are going to thinking about expand the service to the international physicians. Mm -hmm. So for the young physician who wants to be specialized in this area, number one, passion. Number two, try to participate in, this, in those master class. Number three, to identify a mentor. For example, we have a bunch of famous you are prosthetic surgeons in our field, like Steve Wilson, Alan Morey, and uh, uh, David Roth from England, and uh, there's so many others. So spend some time with them, and welcome the people to come to my place. Spend like a few weeks, a month with me, and uh, watch how we do things. You can go back, you can combine the everybody's surgical technique, which fit you the best, and then take the bike and start to serve the patient.